From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. The government suffers a setback in its aggressive Shantytown demolition policy in Abaco while it waits for the outcome of a court challenge on Shantytowns in general. Supreme Court Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson has now issued an order stopping the government from demolishing any more structures in all of Abaco unless it gets permission from the court effective immediately until the whole Shantytown court matter has been settled. Justice Grant Thompson ruled that the decision to clear and remove structures in Abaco after Hurricane Dorian cast the illusion of an act first and ask questions later policy. Attorneys for the group Respect Our Homes Limited argued that many of the structures removed were capable of being repaired and were not in breach of any law. The government says it was only going after structures that were constructed in violation of the current court injunction, preventing any structures from being built while the matter remains before the court. The Attorney General's office says it plans to appeal that ruling as a matter of urgency. We could be getting coronavirus vaccines from the U.S. shortly. We are optimistic that the Bahamas will be a part of the United States' promise to make vaccines available to the region. We thank formerly uh, Governor, now Senator Rick Scott. Uh, We thank Senator Marco Rubio and we thank also the Black Caucus for their insistence that the Bahamas be considered uh, right out of the gate. That announcement coming from Foreign Affairs Minister Henfield in the House yesterday. The timing and amount not clear yet. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. House members completing a full day of debate on the budget. Minister Henfield among the contributors. The House could be meeting up to three days this week as it moves through the budget exercise. Residents of Cat Island and parts of Andros now into an extended lockdown to try and control the spread of the coronavirus on those islands. The Ministry of Health reporting 20 cases for Sunday all over the country, two in Andros, two in Cat Island. The rest of Sunday's numbers, 12 cases in the capital, three in Abaco, one in Exumo. Hospital numbers down to 43 with three persons in the ICU. The death toll remains at 232. Two men charged in court yesterday in connection with the May 30th murder of Alfred Lipron, who was shot and killed on Washington Street here in the Capitol. 20-year-old John Butterfield charged with murder and armed robbery. 19-year-old Cabrero Cash charged with abetment. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Partly sunny, highs in the mid to upper 80s, 85 at Freeport, 86 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Boats and flags up for boaters still. Winds could get up to 20 knots. The seas up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next lower on 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, U.S. President Biden preparing to head to Europe for a series of meetings. His first international trip as president, he starts with the G7 summit in London later this week, then heads to Brussels for a NATO meeting before meeting with Russian President Putin in Switzerland. U.S. officials say the president is going to bring up a number of issues with the Russian president, including alleged Russian interference in U.S. politics and ransomware. The death toll from a two-train collision in Pakistan is now 63. U.S. Vice President Harris now in Mexico after a stop in Guatemala trying to find ways to deal with the growing immigration problem at the southern border of the U.S. 
Tribune's gas strike of prices for Tuesday. Shell Ford 91, SO501, Rubus 501, no changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. John Quell Jones off to a great start in the WNBA this season, but she's taking a break. Find out why. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns off and running in the NBA semifinals. They beat Denver last night in Game 1. Find out what Ayton did. More tributes coming in for late basketball player Peter Gilkud. And something special coming for Jazz Chisholm of the Miami Marlins in Major League Baseball. Read about that in the Tribune Sports. A Tania Gaithia update in the Tribune Sports also. And meet Warren Saunders. He's playing baseball in the New York Mets organization. All in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.